Hi boys and girls, how are you today? So we've talked about quadrilaterals. Let's talk about the shared attributes of those quadrilaterals. Open page 859 and let's take a look at this diagram. The diagram shows how quadrilaterals are related. What do you think? What are attributes are shared by both rectangles and square? Let's take a look at the rectangle. It says it has all the attributes of a parallelogram. What are the attributes of parallelogram? Opposite sides are the same length. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. Opposite angles are the same size. So a rectangle has all three attributes plus four right angles. What about the square? Again, it has all attributes of a parallelogram plus four sides are the same length and four right angles. Now, again, our question, what attributes shared by both rectangles and squares? From the previous lesson, we know that rectangles are, and squares share specific attributes. What are they? opposite sides are the same length and both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and finally there are how many right angles four right angles great job now let's turn the page and move to example number two a parallelogram has opposite sides that are the same length and both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. It also has opposite angles that are the same size. Draw an example of a quadrilateral that is not a parallelogram. Okay, so it's not a parallelogram. So sides, opposite sides should not be parallel or actually both of them should not be parallel and opposite sides should not have the same length and finally opposite angles should not have the same size my shape will be a trapezoid a one like we so in the eiffel tower in paris this shape is a quadrilateral, but it's not a parallelogram. Now we need to classify the quadrilateral we drew. Explain why it's not a parallelogram. I drew a trapezoid. Why it's not a parallelogram? Because this trapezoid has one pair that is parallel of parallel sides and it doesn't have any equal any sides of equal lengths so it's not a parallelogram now let's go through the guided practice together name one attribute that a square has that a rhombus does not have what does a square has that a rhombus does not have yes four right angles now in number two we need to draw an example of a quadrilateral that is not a rhombus which quadrilateral is not a rhombus we just said a square what else i drew a rectangle now let's classify the quadrilateral i drew explain why it's not a rhombus you can draw your own quadrilateral and send it to me on class dojo but don't forget to explain why it's not a rhombus here my rectangle is not a rhombus because it has four right angles and why also it's not a rhombus? Because it 
doesn't have four sides of equal length. So this is not a rhombus. Let's move to the next page and solve number three together. Complete the attributes of a rhombus. Here we have a rhombus. Let's complete the attributes of a rhombus. The opposite sides are, yes, the opposite sides are parallel. And opposite angles are the same sides. The last attribute, the figure has how many sides that are the same length? Four sides of the same length. Now go complete the rest of the page and don't forget to send me on Class Dojo.